what I've presented here uh, was our work on uh, association of uh, basal full brain atrophy and increased level of plasmatic homocysteine. And it's important to know that basal full brain is a major source of acetylcholine uh, for the entire neo neocortex and subcortical areas as well. And uh, its early loss is a very well documented feature of Alzheimer's disease. And there's also an increasing number of evidence in recent years uh, that it might be really the primary location where uh, the degeneration starts. And uh, the reasons for that are not largely known. And uh, the reason rationale behind this study uh, was really that we have found this interesting article from a, uh, from a group looking at rats and uh, realizing that uh, hyperhomocysteinemia uh, actually reduced the number of cholinergic neurons in, in basal forebrain in rats. And we thought that it might be a good idea to see if we could measure that kind of atrophy in humans as well. And uh, well, that's what we did. We took uh, NMRI scans and blood samplings of uh, subjects from, uh, from our cohort from Czech Brain Aging Study. And uh, well, we did the correlations and computed the basal forebrain volumes using uh, MRI volumetry. And uh, we've got a quite a nice result, so that there is uh, really a ne ne negative association uh, between the volume of basal full brain and uh, the level of plasmatic homocysteine. The conclusion from this is this is pointing us in a direction, uh, in a sense. So um, it says that uh, this could be one of the factors really contributing uh, to the atrophy of basal full brain in the course of dementia. But uh, we uh, we should really broaden our study, so uh, we'll have a look at other vascular factors and uh, perhaps yeah, some other life, uh, lifestyle, uh, lifestyle factors uh, to account for uh, to make sure what we are seeing is uh, really the truth and not just a random mess because we, uh, we have uh, now done this on about 100 uh, subjects roughly. Uh, it might have been a little, little bit less, uh, but it would be, uh, of course, way better to do this on a larger population, say a sample of a couple of thousands perhaps, uh, would be more interesting. So this would be a contribution uh, to a general lifestyle recommendation, uh, because it is well known that increased plasmatic homocysteine is a risk uh, factor for uh, for, a for a number of things for vascular changes, vascular dementia, and Alzheimer's disease as as a whole. So this would be really uh, another rationale down the road why to uh, be very very much aware of of this and uh, try to prevent it prevent it in any way possible.